hello everyone welcome to my channel and in today's tutorial we are going to design a recessed ceiling with a moonlight in an architectural template so click ok and here we are in Revit now I'm going to create a flow using flow command by using a rectangular tool Okay, so it, it look like a rectangular tool. Select a rectangular tool from here. Just like that. I'm going to change its dimension to 20 feet for the sides. So it look like a perfect square. After that, after this, I'm going to add a flow material. Going to edit type. Going to edit from here. And by category creating a new material renaming it as a flow going to asset browser from here selecting appearance library going to flooring I want a wooden flow so I'm going to select a wood I want American cherry where it is um, here it is so I'm going to use this in my project in graphic use render appearance apply okay okay apply okay that's it our material has been applied to our flow now I want to create a wall using a wall command selecting a finish face exterior up to the level 2 height using a rectangular tool from the modify bar which is here now wall has been created I'm going to add a material to a wall as well I'm going to edit type selecting added by category creating a new material rename it as a wall wall w a l l asset browser selecting appearance library I want wall paint so I'm going to go with wall paint glossy select whichever color you want I'm gonna go with this one and always check the render appearance in graphic and okay apply okay okay apply okay that's it our material has been applied to the walls now I'm going to create a ceiling going to the ceiling plans level 1 creating a ceiling at the height of uh, 8 feet 6 inch which is our first ceiling 8 feet 6 inch and our first ceiling has been applied and now I'm going to create our second ceiling using a sketch ceiling at the height of 8 feet which is our recessed part using our rectangular tool and at the offset of 3 feet using a rectangular tool as well from the modify bar just like that so our recessed part has been created finish the model now I'm going to see our recess ceiling in a camera view going to the floor plan level 1 selecting your camera from here just like that so this is our camera view selecting a realistic mode so this is our ceiling this is how our ceiling look like this is a recessed part and the gap between these two ceiling we have to provide a diffuser so that the lighting fixtures can't be visible so now I'm going to create a diffuser now I'm going to the architectural tab and component model in place using a generic model which is here click OK now I'm going to create an extrusion for a diffuser going to ceiling pan level 1 extrusion selecting a rectangular tool at the offset of maybe one inch yes one inch and yes from this point 
to this the diffuser is provided at the inner part of the recess ceiling just like that finish the model and now we are going to check it in an elevation so it is not visible now I'm going to create a section so that we can see the extrusion which is here now we are going to fix it in between the two ceiling the diffuser that's it our diffuser has been fixed in between our ceilings now I'm going to add a uh, material to our diffuser selected select or if you select the diffuser going go into edit in place select family type which is here add a new parameter and uh, name the material whatever you want I'm gonna name it as a uh, strip and choose the type of parameter which is material okay and now you can add the material by going to by category creating a new material and naming it as a strip going to the asset browser I want some transparent material you can either get it from the plastic family or you can search it in a search bar if you know the name I'm going to search it in a search bar which is PVC white I'm going to use for our diffuser select this one and now keep the reflectivity as it is and increase the amount of transparency from here I'm gonna keep it as 90 keep it 90 and uh, okay self illumination check it and keep it as dim glow and change the custom to moonlight uncheck the bum check the tint change the color of the tint to white just like that apply okay apply okay so the transfer material for the diffuser has been applied you can check it by selecting it going it to the addition place select it once again the diffuser by category so strip has been selected press ok and the material has been applied to the diffuser finish the model now I'm going to add a lightning fixture for our project by going to the new going to new and family select English search for lightning fixture open it so we are now going to create a lightning fixture now we are in reference level going to the front elevation we have to change the height to it fit four inches because our first ceiling is at the height of eight feet six inch and our second ceiling is at the height of eight feet so we have to provide our lightning fixture in between those two ceiling which is eight feet four inches and now I'm going to create a extrusion I'm going to uh, create tab extrusion setting a reference level at the lightning source click ok and now we are going to create an extrusion for our lightning fixture using a circular tool finishing the model going into the front elevation so this is our extrusion created reducing its size to small and 
select the lightning fixture go to edit keep the lightning definition as it is go to family type uh, initial color this is not initial color go to initial color increases number to 6000 if you increase the number the the light become light if you decrease the color the light become darker so i want a lightish color so i'm going to increase the number and changing the color to green i want a green color moonlight that's it and change the intensity flux to thousand i want only thousand click ok now everything is done apply apply and ok that's it now we can load it into the project going to the level one ceiling plan changing it to the wireframe and select our lightning fixture placing it behind the diffuser now i'm going to check it in a section view so that it is in between our both the ceiling now i'm going to place all of our lightning fixture around our recessed ceiling by using an array tool select our lightning fixture use an array I want it as 40 numbers select it pull it from here to here drag it I think it is intersecting each other uh, we can reduce this number to 35 and I'm going to do the same to this side uh, of the ceiling selecting it using an array tool I want it as 35 numbers pulling it from that point to this point just like that now I'm going to select all of my lightning fixture in a horizontal direction using a mirror tool which is in modify bar which is here selecting a midpoint that's it and selecting a vertical lightning fixture by using a mirror tool just like that selecting a midpoint so all of our lightning fixture has been provided and now i'm going to create a camera view for rendering adjust it how much you want uh, for rendering i'm going to render it in a high quality and so render the view as per the render requirement and press the rr key for rendering which is a shortcut for rendering rr choose setting to medium lightning quality to interior artificial only press render it will take few minutes for rendering please be patient and here we are this is our recessed moonlight ceiling look like and please do like share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon